In honor of our 420 book release yesterday, we had Ricky Powell sit down with Dabitha Magura to discuss the invention of the invisible jazz cigarette. You said that you didn't coin the term, but like, let's, where did, right. where did this? I embraced it. It's, from, it's an old jazz term. I would imagine. Jazz cigarette for joint. Okay. So I embraced it, just like I embraced the saying recently, between me and the lamppost, you know, just pose like this in my pictures with my transistor boombox and invisible jazz cigarette. They go together. When did we become a part of your life? Oh. Tell a story about your mom. I, like Jake. Jake. I remember you said that she would keep yeah. an ounce of Mexican an ounce. in the refrigerator, or a pound of Mexican pound. in the refrigerator where you keep the vegetables. Why would the vegetables be? There'd be a pound of Mexican weed. There's anything wrong with that. There were joints all over the house. She used to roll little skinny ones. And then my friend, who was my age, Apu, would come over. He was 11, and he would like sit with my mom and smoke joints. And I would just sit there like, weird. I was famous within my friends. Plus, I would take my mom's long lady finger joints and bring, sneak them out of the house and bring them to like parties. What's your best or your favorite getting high with a famous Ooh. person story? Off the top of my head, I might have tried to share the story. Chris Walken, yeah, I got it. again, it's good. You know, I went to a party at De Niro's restaurant, Robert De Niro's restaurant, not uh, Rafael De Niro. You know him? No. I saw uh, Chris. Christopher standing in the corner, I was like, yo, you want to smoke some hash? He was like, oh yeah, we'd love to. So we were smoking and puffing. We got zooted and talked a little bit and then like started to walk away with my pipe. And I was like, yo, 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 I need that back. And uh, he was like, oh, my bad. Set the scene for your perfect getting high. Like if you were gonna smoke a joint or whatever, set the scene for us. If I'm hosting a discreet, you know, lady friend, uh, turn on Jazz 88. I like to smoke pot in the nude with them. They like that. With the jazz music, it's a beautiful experience while I'm here on the planet Earth. You must come by and check it out since. I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll watch from behind the curtain. Oh, you're into watching? Oh my god. Make sure to catch the rest of this week's Frank Show when I interview DJ Ken and when Phil V interviews Pro Era.